What's going on everybody? My name's Citrus and today I'd like to welcome you to my brand new video series where I will be teaching you how to play Rust. At first glance the UI can seem a little bit overwhelming so let's go over it in some detail. To play Rust you must first join a server. There are hundreds of servers to choose from so let's go over choosing one. Official Rust is as it sounds, the official way to play Rust and how the developers intended it to be played. Community servers are mostly official with some quality of life features to help improve how the game is played. Then there's modded. These servers can range from slightly modded to outrageously modded and everything in between. The friends tab is where you can see what servers your friends are playing on which makes it easier in joining them. The favorited tab is where you can save the IPs of the servers you want to be able to find easier rather than searching through the official community and modded list. As you can see I have a few servers saved here. I recommend doing the same by clicking the little star next to the name of the server. And lastly is the history tab where you can see the last servers you played on which also makes finding your servers that you last played on a lot easier than searching through the official community and modded list. If we scroll down, we see some more filters for our searches such as how many players are on a server, how often the server wipes, how difficult the server is, any specific game modes, and even what region the server is located in. The news tab shows you the latest updates to the game as Rust receives new updates every month, constantly changing how the game is played. The inventory is where you will see the skins that you own, but if you are opening Rust for the first time, this page will most likely be empty. You may ask where you get those skins? Well you get them in the item store, or on the community market. The workshop shows the skins that are currently being created by the community for the game. There are four options at the bottom. Latest being the most recently posted skins. Trending and popular show skins that are currently on the rise, and accepted shows you the skins that are currently in the game. Rust Plus is an app you can pair with Rust to do a whole variety of things. I won't go over it here since there's a ton of videos out there already, but just know you have the option to control in-game items with your phone. The options menu is a whole another monster, so I'm just going to scroll through and show you what my options are, feel free to copy them if you'd like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And the next one, we will be going over the different playstyles in Rust. Thanks, guys.